Good evening. Hello. Hi, Carlita. Good evening. Are you there? Good evening, Lisette. Welcome. Thank you, teacher. <laughs> How are you, Lisette? Hi, I'm fine, teacher. Excellent, very good. All right, welcome back. All right, everybody, let's get into the class. Today, we're going to have a final review, all right? We are in class 16, so it's a pleasure to see you, all right? Let's work on the review that we have for today's class. Let's check. For starters, I have this, right? Months and dates, but we're gonna do that later if we got the time, all right? So let's work with the future we've been going to. I believe that the easiest part for you maybe was the future of be going to, right? Because you have one structure to follow and the only things that it can vary are the reductions, right? So let's see, we're going to practice. Let me have Lisette Montoya, you ask, and Carla Patricia, you answer. Usted contesta, Carla. ¿Qué vamos a hacer? Las primeras, Carla, usted les va a contestar con I'm going to celebrate and I'm going to stay home. Después, solo va a utilizar la reduction del gonna. Okay, action. Are you going to do anything this weekend? Are you going to do anything this weekend? Mm -hmm. She's not in the, I think she has problems with the audio or maybe she's doing something else. Let's go with Gabriela Choto. Hi, Gabi. Hi, good evening. Good evening, how are you? Bien, bien, <laughs> gracias. All right, excellent. Eh, ahorita voy entrando, teacher, solo de leerlas. Sí, solo es de leerlas, no van a hacer nada más, ¿right? Solo okay. le explico esto, Gaby. En las primeras dos me utiliza el going to y después solo va a utilizar gonna, ¿right? Ah, oh, ok. Yes, I am. I'm going to celebrate my birthday. No, I'm not. I'm going to, to stay home. Is Kyla going to have a party for you? Yes, she's, she's gonna to invite it. All my friends. No, she is not. She is gonna to take me out for dinner. Are the waiters going to sing to you? Yes, they are. They are, they are gonna to sing happy birthday. No, they aren't, but they aren't gonna to give to give me a cake. All right, excellent. Thank you, girls. Thank now you. Let's check this one. Let's see, Gaby. Gaby, ¿cómo sintió el uso del gonna? ¿Sintió algo raro? Sí. All right. ¿Por qué crees sí, como que no se lee, ¿verdad? Como se lee, de, lo que se lee es otra cosa. It's true. Ajá, cuesta. A por rato sentía que decía going. Ajá. <risa> yeah, Eso es lo difícil. Es porque nuestro es cerebro la, ya lo archivó de una manera, mm -hmm. right? Ajá. Ajá. Y también, Gaby, lo que yo puedo notar y le voy a decir, es que cuando nosotros hacemos uso del gonna, ya no necesitamos adherir el to, porque mm. el gonna es la reduction 
del going to. Mm, ajá, going to. Ajá, ah, entonces, o sea que solo gonna. Ajá. Gonna take, gonna invite, uh -huh. gonna sing. Ah, ok, teacher. All right, very good. Uh -huh. Por eso le pregunté, ¿sintió raro? All right. Sí. Because it does feel, nuestro cerebro, a pesar de que ya asimiló el uso del going to, todavía se vuelve raro tener que ponerle esa otra palabrita, right? Gonna to. Uh -huh. Y ahí es donde no match. Excellent, Gaby, thank you okay. so much. Let's go with Sonia del tránsito. Hi, Sonia. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you? Fine. Excellent. Very good. Okay, Sonia, let's get into the business. You are going to ask, right? You're going to ask these questions. And por ahí veo que tenemos a Elizabeth Campos. Hello, Elizabeth. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Um, great. Great. Excellent. Very good to hear that. Ok, Elizabeth, usted va a hacer la parte de las respuestas, right? Las primeras okay. dos va a decir, I'm going to celebrate and I'm going to stay home. En las demás solo va a utilizar el gonna. Ok. Ok. Action. Are you going to do anything this weekend? Yes, I am. I'm going to celebrate my, my birthday. Uh -huh. También el no. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm going to stay home. Is Kayla going to ha have a party for you? Yes, she is. She's going to invite. Así es, invite all yeah. my friends. She's gonna invite? No, she isn't. She gonna take me out for dinner. Are the white are going to sing to you? Yes, they are. They're gonna sing happy birthday. No, they aren't, but they're gonna give me a cake. That's correct, excellent. Thank you, girls, very good. Now, it's good that you remember, and I'm going to emphasize this part, all right? Voy a hacer un énfasis aquí. Es bueno que ustedes practiquen el uso del gonna, right? Por eso le hiciste el mix. Primero dicen going to y después dicen gonna. Porque eh, most of native people and fluently, fluently speakers, they use gonna, right? Más de alguna vez ustedes, ya sea en un programa de televisión, en a movie, in anything, you are going to check the pronunciation and they say gonna. Entonces es necesario que ustedes conozcan que sí se puede utilizar el gonna, pero en la manera escrita no, right? No lo utilizamos, no hacemos uso de eso, porque se vuelve un poco informal, right? Siempre que ustedes escriban o estén armando algún papeleo, un documento importante, you have to write down going to, going to, right? No escriban gonna porque eso no. No existe gramaticalmente, right? Si lo utilizan, es la contraction, la reduction, pero no se utiliza en sí en documentos importantes o en un ensayo, all right? So there you go. Tal vez cuando enviamos un, when we send a text message, you can use it. Al enviar un mensaje de texto, podemos hacer uso de eso. But other than that, I wouldn't recommend you, all right? So let's move on with the following part. Let me check. Future with be going to a structure. Let me check, Mayra. Hi, Mayra. Hi, teacher. How are you? Fine, say. Excellent. Very good. Okay, Marita, can you please tell me the structure? Me lee la estructura, please. Okay. Future why no, with be going to a structure affirmation subject plus verb to be plus going to plus verb plus complement uh -huh, excellent very good así como dijo verb aquí marita también aquí se dice verb to be oh 
Okay. Right. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you, Marita. So we have the examples. Let me check. Uh, Lisette Montoya, tell me the examples, please. Uh, yes. I, I am going to walk in the morning. Mario is going to buy a, a new car. Mm -hmm. That's correct. Excellent. Thank you. Now you girls, what are you going to do next? Think about example, right? Think about one example. Create it on your mind, or if you want, create it on your notebook, but try to use your mind, right? Si ustedes quieren, lo escriben. Si no, solo me lo dicen, right? Un ejemplo utilizando el going to. Just one. And let me know when you're finished. Please remember that the going to is for future, right? Finish, teacher. Hali said, let's listen to your example. I am going to cook for the dinner. Mm -hmm. Going to cook dinner. Ah, cook dinner. Mm -hmm. oh. Excellent. Oh. Very good. Very good. Teacher. I am going to eat pupusas. That's delicious. <laughs> good for you. Excellent, Elizabeth. Very good. Um, let me check somebody else. What about Gabby or Sonia? I'm going. I'm going to. Uh, Drink coffee. Excellent. Good for you, Gabby. <laughs> excellent. It's not healthy, but it's good. <laughs> All right. Excellent, Gabby. Thank you. Ya ven, es bien fácil. De cosas que ustedes hacen en sus daily basis, del vocabulary que ustedes tienen para sus daily basis, pueden tomar de eso, right? Cosas como, I'm going to cook, right? Something that you do every day. I'm going to eat pupusas. Um, maybe you don't do it every day, but it's going to be for the future, right? Coffee, those words. Así se les va a facilitar. Ya tienen el vocabulary, ya solo tienen que poner en práctica las structures. Let's go with Sonia. Uh -huh, Sonia, tell me your example. Hi. Maybe she has problems with the mic. Let's go with Mayrita. Let's see, Mayra, tell me your example. Um, tell me. Yo creo que no hay problema con ese nombre, ¿verdad? Se puede mm -hmm. decir español y en inglés igual, ¿verdad? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Tell me is going to buy a... a and um, what's it? Buy a motorcycle. Uh, wait, es que se me desconectó aquí este el el audífono. Excuse me. Ah, uh, comprar. Perdón, comprar. I. Um, Demi is going to buy a a. Um, ¿Cómo dice? Ay, se me fue la palabra. El que me irito. Which one? Es como, es como ir a comprar una, la bicicleta. Ah, the bicycle. Is going to, uh -huh. is going to uh -huh. buy a bicycle. Sí, bicycle. Okay. All right, excellent. Easy piece, right? Bien facilito. Yeah. Uh -huh. Excellent, sí. Mayna. Thank you. Gracias. You're welcome, honey. All right, everybody. So far, do you have any questions about the use of be going to? Hasta ahorita, aunque este tema ya lo vimos y estamos haciendo un review, ¿les ha surgido alguna duda o consulta de este tema? Teacher, solo, solo este, aclarándome para hacer pregunta, solamente traslado el to be al principio. Excellent, very good. No le pude haber dicho mejor. Ah, okay, gracias. Y también tiene las double H. Eh, let me see, por aquí. Estas solo son con el to be at the beginning. Pero también tienen las double H words. For example, what are you going to eat? 
How is she going to travel? Why is she going to visit her parents, right? Tienen también las, eh, las posibilidades de hacerlo con el double H word. All right? There you go. Excellent, girls. Let's Thank you, teacher. You're welcome, honey. Let's see. Simple past statements, regular verbs. Now, <laughs> this part, it was kind of easy, right? Esta parte sí se nos hizo un poco más fácil. ¿Por qué decíamos que solo íbamos a cambiar eh, la última parte del verb y ponerle ed? Algunos solo se les agregaba el ed, a otros se les tenían que cambiar. Como es el caso de study, sabemos que lleva y, pero lo cambiamos to i ed, right? That's basic. Esta parte la vamos a trabajar mucho con el speaking ahorita, right? So let's practice. I'm going to say it first and then you will practice. I studied on Sunday. I didn't study on Saturday. You watched television. You didn't watch a movie. She stayed home. She didn't stay out. We shopped for groceries. We didn't shop for clothes. They exercised on Saturday. They didn't exercise on Saturday. All right, now it's your turn. There you go. Let me have a Fatima Guardado, you are affirmative, and Elizabeth Campos, you are negative. Vamos a ir uno y uno, please. I started on Sunday. I didn't study on Saturday. You watched television. You didn't watch a movie. She stayed home. She didn't stay out. out. We shopped for groceries. We didn't shop for clothes. They exercised on Saturday. They didn't exercise on Sunday. Excellent. There you go. Thank you, girls. Let me see if Farima repeat after me. Chopped or shoved. Are you there? Okay, maybe you have issues with the mic. Don't worry. All right, girls, let's go to the next one. ¿Por qué los estoy poniendo a practicar con eso, right? Puede parecer simple, pero si se, no, si se fijaron, we are trying to pronounce the sounds, right? Remember that we have ID sound, we have T sound, and D sound. And it's not easy in trying to give those sounds, right? No es fácil. No es que por arte de magia van a empezar a decir esos sonidos. No, you need to practice indeed. If you practice, you will achieve your goal. If you don't practice, you won't. Right? That's easy. Let's go with, uh, let me see, Sonia del Tránsito, please. You are affirmative. And Lisette Montoya, you are negative. Action. I start on Sunday. I didn't study on Saturday. You watch television. You didn't watch a movie. She stayed home. She didn't stay out. We shopped for groceries. We didn't shop for clothes. They exercised on Saturday. They didn't ex exercise on Sunday. Excellent. There you go. Thank you, girls. Let's go with Miguel Navarro. You are affirmative and Gabriela Choto. You are negative. Action. I study on Sunday. I didn't study on Saturday. You watch television. You didn't watch a movie. She Stay home. She didn't stay out. We shopped for groceries. We didn't shop for clothing. They exercised on Saturday. 
they didn't exercise on Sunday. All right, excellent, thank you. Let's go with Mayra Lopez. Mayrita, eh, usted no ha participado, right? No. Ok. ¿Quiere ser afirmativo o quiere ser negativo? Yo voy con usted. Afirmativo. Excellent. Very good. That's challenging. <laughs> Action. I, st I studied on Sunday. I didn't study on Saturday. You watched television. You didn't watch a movie. She stayed home. She didn't stay out. We shopped for closer. We didn't shop for clothes. They succeed. Exercise. exercise. They exercise, exercise on Saturday. They didn't exercise on Sunday. Thank mm -hmm. you, Marita. Very good. All right, everyone. Let's check this spelling, all right? Una manera más fácil en la cual podemos detectar ambos sonidos, right? Tanto, tanto el present como el past es hacer esto, un spelling. Watch, watch, watched, watched. Exercise, exercised, exercised. A study, a study. A study it, a study it. Remember, recuerden, ya vamos, a ver ese, ya vamos a ver ese chart donde aparecían los sonidos, right? Si ustedes me dicen a study aquí y a study allá, it's going to be difficult to understand, all right? Va a ser un poco más difícil entender por qué no estaríamos hablando en past. So you need to pronounce correctly. A study, a study it, a study it. A stay, stayed. Shop, shoved. All right. Let's work with the next chart. We have these verbs. All right. Now, what I want you to do is to pay attention to my pronunciation and then you will practice. ID. Remember, aunque en inglés la I se pronuncia como I, aquí el sonido que va a transmitir es como la I que nosotros utilizamos. Right. Wanted. Wanted. Needed. Needed. Solo mentalícense al momento de hablar, all right, que aquí no va a llevar la E, lleva la I, right? Wanted, needed. With T, helped, looked, washed. Miren cómo relajo la boca para decir este verb. Washed, watched. Para el otro ya no, ya hago más énfasis. Watched, loved, loved. Breast, breast, kissed, kissed, danced, danced, fixed, fixed, cold, cold, cleaned, cleaned, offered, offered, damaged, damaged. Por favor, aquí no se pronuncia la e. All right, you cannot say call it, clean it, no. Eso no se puede, right? Cold, cleaned, offered, damaged, loved, used, followed, enjoyed, amazed. Remember, that D is going to sound. Esa D, si la tenemos ahí, la hacemos sonar, all right? So let's get into the business. Let me see, I'm going to have Um, Dinora Hernández, please. Me va a decir el vocabulary, Dinorita. Y si usted necesita ayuda o hay alguna duda, me dice, right? Want, need, need help, look, watch, watch. Launch, bread, kiss, dent, fix, hold, clean, offer it. No, ese me equivoqué. Offer. Offer. 
Damage. Love. Use. Follow. Enjoy. Y el último, ¿cómo se Amazed. dice? Amazed. Mm -hmm. Amazed. There you go. Excellent. Thank you, Dinora. All right. Miss, ¿por qué es tan importante darle la pronunciación correcta a estos verbs? Si la persona ya sabe que estoy hablando en pasado. No, my dear friends. Right? Si usted no le dan la pronunciación en inglés, ¿cómo se va a dar cuenta la, la pronunciación en paz? ¿Cómo se va a dar cuenta la persona que está hablando en pasado? Right? Si se nota en la estructura, decía subject plus verb in past plus complement. That's it. Simple as that. Entonces, a esos verbs hay que empujarlos muchos con estos verbs, right? Let's go with another person. Let's see in Carla Patricia. We don't have it. Let's go with uh, Miguel Navarro, please. Okay. Wanted, needed, helped, looked, watched, watched, loved, bread, kissed, danced, pissed, hold, cleaned, offered. Damage, love, use, follow, enjoy, Amazon. Right, excellent, Miguel. Repeat after me. Amazed. Amazed. Mm -hmm. Excellent. There you go. All right. Okay. Thank you, Miguel. Let me go with Elizabeth, please. One, no, quiero ver. Wanted, needed. Helped, looked, watched, watched, loved, mm -hmm. break, no, breath, breath, uh -huh. kissed, danced, fixed, uh, cold, cold, as in, uh -huh. clean, yeah. offered, damaged, loved, used. Used, followed, enjoyed, uh, amazing. There you go, excellent. Thank you, Elizabeth. Let me check um, somebody else. What about, we have Albita. Hi, Alba. Hi. How are you? Fine, and you? I'm great. Thank you so much for asking. Okay, Albita, <laughs> estamos practicando con los verbs. Los regular verbs, right? Así que yes. me regale el vocabulary. Si usted necesita ayuda, me dice, right? Okay. Wanted, needed, helped, looked, watched, watched, loved, breathed, kissed, danced, fixed, called, cleaned, offered, damaged, loved, used, followed, enjoyed, amazed. There you go, excellent. Thank you, Alvita. Please repeat after me. You're welcome. Kissed. Kissed. Danced. Danced. <laughs> Don't worry, Sonia. Let's see. Fixed. Fixed. Mm -hmm. There you go. And the last one, amazed. Amazed. Mm -hmm. Amazed. Amazed. Yeah. Uh-huh. Missed. There you go. Es que la Z siempre suena como que nos vamos a dormir. <laughs> All right. <Okay. laughs> yes, that's correct. Thank you. You're welcome, honey. All right, everybody. Let me check. Uh, any, only, any other volunteer to practice with this? All right. Ahorita es un momento, right? Recuerden que media vez pasemos de esto. Ustedes ya van a otro level, van a otros tópicos, right? Entonces, you better learn these ones. ¿Alguien más que desee practicar con este chart? Y si no lo quiere hacer sola, yo puedo hacerlo con ustedes, right? Yo, Mayra. Oh. Okay. Entonces, va Mayra y luego Lisette. Let's go, Mayra. Mayra, ¿lo haría usted sola o voy con usted? Eh, vaya conmigo. Excelente. Wanted. Wanted. Needed. Needed. Helped. 
help looked looked watched watch watched what loved loved breast bread kissed kids danced dance fixed fixed cold cold cleaned clean offered mm. offered damaged damaged loved loved used used followed following enjoyed enjoyed amazed amazed there you go excellent thank you Marita. thank you you're welcome let's go with Lisette let's see Lisette you want to go alone or you want me to go with you alone teacher excellent <laughs> <Let's go. laughs> okay wanted needed help looked washed watched loved bread kissed danced fixed cold clean offer damaged loved used followed enjoyed amazed all right excellent very good, Lisette. Solo vamos a repetir unos cuantos juntas, right, Lisette? Para darles okay. ese sonido. Porque su pronunciación okay. está perfecta, pero el sonido de la D must be there. <laughs> Tiene que estar ahí, all right? Uh -huh. Okay. Very good. Uh, follow me. Offered. Offered. Mm -hmm. There you go. Damaged. Damaged. Mm -hmm. There you go. And those are the only ones. Thank you, Lisette. Okay, thank you, teacher. You're welcome, honey. Um, what about Sonia? Sonia, desea practicar? Yes, teacher. All right. You want to go alone or you want me to go with you? Um, alone y luego repetimos juntas. Okay. All right. Okay. Perfect. okay. Wanted, needed, helped, looked, watched, watched, loved, were bright, kissed, danced, fixed, cold, cleaned, offered, damaged, loved, used, followed, enjoyed, amazed. Oh, Sonia, I couldn't find any mistake, all right? No le puede detectar ninguna que no estuviera bien. All right? Okay. Excellent. Thank you. Now, everybody, your moment to practice, all right? We've been practicing speaking. Let's go to the writing, all right? These are regular verbs. You know how to work with regular verbs, right? Ya sabemos cómo trabajar con los regulares. Están bien easy peasy, bien facilitos, right? Let's work these sentences on your notebooks, please. Trabajemos estas oraciones en el cuaderno, please. You have to make them in past, right? Tienen que hacerlas en pasado.
finish, teacher. Excellent, very good, thank you. We're going to wait. ¿Alguien más que ya haya finalizado? No, ok, vamos a darles unos minutitos más, Lizeth, y vamos a empezar a, a give the explanation, right? Okay, so let's check those sentences. Let me hear you, Lizette. What do you have for number one about Susan? Susan la lived in New York when was young. Exactly, that's correct, lived. Very good. What do you have for my teacher, Alba? Teacher, my teacher liked our presentations. Excellent, very good. Liked our presentations. That's correct. Uh, Sonia, my mother. My mother studied French at school. Excellent, very good. Uh, Miguel Navarro, the student. Student, closet, the window. Because it is quite cold. All right, thank you. Repeat after me, Miguel. Closed. Closed. Mm -hmm. There you go. Thank you. Um, let me check. Fatima, we? We start the new unit yesterday. Excellent, there you go. Dinorena Hernandez, Peter. Ay, no le he hecho todavía, me faltaba. Ok, ok, don't worry. Uh, let me check, vamos a ver. Gabriela Choto, Peter. Peter joined the music les lesson. That's correct, excellent. Thank you, guys. Very good, okay. right? There you go. Entre más material ustedes vayan adquiriendo, right, más verbos van a obtener, right? Y ustedes pueden irlos, pues, eh, como haciendo en una listita, ya les voy a mostrar más adelante cómo, right? Para que eso se les haga fácil memorizárselos. Let's go with the past of B. What do we have for the past of, we, of B? Let me check. Elizabeth Campos, tell me the pronouns that we use with where and the pronouns that we use with was. The pronouns with was with are, o sea, son, vea, <laughs> you, they, and we, mm -hmm. and the pronoun with was, I, he, she, and it. Excellent, very good. Está bien, Lisa, lo que dijo, are, very good. Uh -huh. <laughs> All right, everybody. There you go, just for you to, for, to just for you to not forget, vamos a ver. ¿Puedo utilizar yo otro verb a la par del was o el where? 
Yes or no? Negative teacher. El warrant. No, no le entendí la, la pregunta. No. Puedo utilizar un verb, de los otros verbs que acaban de ver, ¿puedo utilizar ah, un poco ah, más? Ah. ¿Ah? No, uh, el verb, eh, el verb siempre va a ir en, en presente, no va a ir como, como estadio. Ay, right. no, no me perdí. <risa> no, no se preocupe, por eso le estoy preguntando, Sonia, excelente, eso me gusta que participe. Excelente, dice, no, no pueden utilizarlo ni en present ni en past. Porque el where y el was solo se utilizan cuando o tenemos eh, past continuous o si lo tenemos en presente cuando tenemos present continuous, right? Solo en esos dos. Eh, past continuous and present continuous. Other than that, you shouldn't use another verb with this one, all right? Que entonces, mis que vamos a utilizar, right? Estamos aprendiendo los verbs. Siempre van a utilizar vocabulary eh, que ustedes van adquiriendo, right? Ustedes vienen adquiriendo uh, a lot of vocabulary. Eso pueden ponerlo en práctica con el was and were. Desde el momento que ustedes dicen, um, my sister was happy, ya es vocabulary que ustedes han adquirido, right? Ya lo han adquirido y no es tan difícil de utilizar. Remember, was and were. Significa, si el verb to be significa ser o estar, entonces el was or were serían fueron, eran, estaban, éramos, all right? It's going to depend on your subject. Let's keep into consideration that information. Ahora nos vamos para la practice. Simple past tense verb to be. ¿Qué vamos a hacer? On your notebooks, esta actividad la vamos a hacer escrita. La siguiente la vamos a hacer solo hablada, all right? Van a escribir estas oraciones and try to use was or were depending on your subject, right? Aquí tienen los subjects. Dependiendo de eso, van a utilizar el was or were. Okay, so, so far only Lisette has finished. Somebody else has finished? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay, let's get this party started. Let's see. Um, number one, Elizabeth Campos. It was very hot yesterday. Excellent, very good. Number two, Sonia. I was at the park. Exactly. Number three, Lisa. Uh, they were sick last week. Excellent. Number four, 
Eh, Mayra. Sheila at home last night. Uh, was at home last night. Ah, sí. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Mayrita. And the last one, Alba Aguilar. We were at school last Sunday. Excellent. There you go. All right, guys. Very good. Easy peasy, right? Let's move on to the uh, speaking part. Choose the correct alternative. All right. So let's check in this one. Let me have number one. Let's see, Miguel Navarro. ¿Cuál escogería usted? Wasn't or weren't for number one? Wasn't. Okay. Leo la oración. It wasn't cloudy yesterday. Excellent. Very good. Ni dudó, right? Excellent. Let's go with Dinora Hernandez, number two. Wasn't or weren't? We weren't. We were at the cinema last night. Excellent, thank you. Fatima Guardado, number three. The movie wasn't great. Excellent, very good. The movie wasn't great. Uh, Gabriela Choto, number four, please. Greetings. They weren't at the theater last Saturday. Excellent. Repeat after me, Gabby. Weren't. Weren't. Mm -hmm. Excellent. There you go. Thank you. And the last one, number five. Let me check. Uh, Lisette Montoya. Uh, all my friends weren't at the party on Saturday. Excellent. Very really good. Weren't at the party on Saturday night. All right, everybody, let's move on faster over here. Simple past statements with regular verbs. Aquí viene lo interesante, right? <laughs> los irregulars, ¿qué sucede con los irregulars? A ver, ¿qué pasa con los irregulars? ¿Cómo También, se diferencia? Forma. Excellent, there you go. They change their natural form, right? For example, uh, let's listen to... Elizabeth Campos, please tell me the present and the irregular. The present. Do. Uh, did. ¿Cómo se dice igual? Equal. Did. Equals did. <laughs> mm -hmm. Get up. Equals got up. Mm -hmm. Go. Equals when. Meet. Equal meet. Met. <laughs> met. Ah, met. Uh -huh. uh, come equal came. Have equal had. Excellent. Thank you. Let's have Miguel Navarro, please. Tell me the simple present and the simple past, please. Do equal did. Get up equals got up. Go equals when. Meet equals met, on equals can, have equals had. Excellent, thank you. Let's go with Mayra Lopez, please. Present and past. Mm, do equal equal did. Get up equal go. Go. Got up. Got up. Mm -hmm. Go equal when met equal met come equal came have equal had. Excellent. There you go. All right, everybody. Thank you. Let's move on to the next ones. Let's check these ones. Let's see, Sonia. ¿Cuál sería el irregular verb of have? Let's listen. Sorry, has teacher. Has? Has, perdón, has. Excellent, <laughs> Bravo. thank you. Don't worry, Lisette Montoya, ¿cuál sería el irregular verb of meet? Met. 
Mm -hmm. Excellent, very good. Elizabeth Campos, ¿sí? Uy, teacher, eso no lo sé. Ah, very good. So. So. So, déjenme ver, quiero ver si lo puedo escribir aquí. Right. So. Like that. Ah, so. Stop o so. ¿Cómo se pronuncia? So. So. Uh -huh. Excellent, thank you. And Mayrita, the irregular of take. Eh, no sé, teacher. Excuse me. Took. No se preocupe. Took. All right. Se escribe con doble O, pero se pronuncia took. All right. There you go. Excellent. Thank you, guys. Let's go with the following. Guiding examples. Um, Fatima Guardado, tell me example number one, please. I have an amazing, amazing weekend. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Thank you. Alba Aguilar, number two. My family and I went to the beach. Excellent. Thank you. And Miguel Navarro, number three, please. We left on Friday and we came back on Sunday. Mm -hmm. Excellent. There you go. All right. Mire, mis, pero ahí tiene amazing. All right. Ese es ING. No, aquí está como un gerund. All right. Es un gerundio. No está como el ING. Así que les aviso. All right. It's different. Now, let's move on with the other one. Let's practice with this one. Let me see. Gabriela Choto. Estos son los irregular, all right? Los rojos son los irregulars. Y estos son los eh, simple present, right? Or infinitive. Eh, let's listen to Gabi. ¿Cuál sería el past of catch? Count. Cost. Excellent. Very really good. Cost. Um, ¿Cuál sería el past of C, Dinor Hernández? So, so, uh -huh, excellent, thank you. Sonia, what would it be the past of May? Mm, made? Made, very good. Alba, what would it be the past of swim? Swam. Uh, swam, excellent, very good. And let me see, Lisette Montoya, what would it be the past of eight? Eight. Eight, very good. Um, Manuel, Manuel era, all right. Miguel, I'm sorry, Miguel Navarro. What would it be the past of take? Took. Took, excellent. Um, Gabriela Choto, what would it be the past of go? Went. Mm -hmm. Excellent. And last but not least, let me check. Um, let's see. All right. And we have. Yeah, don't worry, Jose. All right. Thank you so much for getting at least uh, the last couple of minutes. All right. Don't worry. Excellent. Um, let me check. Jose Vega, tell me the past of have. De los que aparece aquí, ¿cuál sería el past of have? Mm, sería have. Excellent, that's correct. All right, okay. thank you so much. Now, listen, guys, do you have any questions about the use? Recuerden, así como in present, all right, el verb to be no es lo mismo que el simple present, lo mismo sucede aquí. El past of be no es, no es lo mismo que el past simple, right? Or simple past, no es lo mismo. Ambos entran en la categoría de past y con el tiempo, a medida que ustedes avancen en los cursos, se van a dar cuenta que hay diversas formas de decir cosas en pasado, right? Otros tiempos gramaticales siempre, siempre en la categoría de pasado, 
right? Entonces, no es lo mismo, right? You have more than one eh, option. So, do you have any questions so far? Hasta ahorita, ¿tienen alguna duda o consulta? Que quieran hacer? Teacher, uh -huh. eh, the past the swim. Swam. Swam, swam, swam. Ah. Oh. Swam. Sí, eh, de sí, so. Mhm. Uh -huh. Sang. Okay. Very good. Thank you, teacher. Ah, el de sí me preguntó si sería sa. Sí. All right, so. All right, there you go. Another question? Otra pregunta? All right, don't forget. No podemos utilizar el simple past con el past of be, right? Eso es como recordatorio, insisto en eso. ¿Alguna lectura? Mm. Ay, Lisa, yo solo leo libros de gramática. <risa> y soy, es, me encanta mucho la gramática y entonces por eso, Lisa, esos libros son como que bien eh, complicados, right Pero si encuentro uno, yo les voy a hacer saber. Ajá, pero sencillo. Eh, yo les voy a hacer saber en el grupo si van a encontrar un libro, right Que sea fácil de comprender, pero que tenga mucho vocabulario. All right, y'all, that was pretty much it for today's class. It has been a pleasure to be your teacher. Ha sido un placer para mí ser su docente, all right? Eh, yo los animo que siempre se esfuercen. Este es un idioma muy bonito y con muchísimas oportunidades. Así que ya avanzaron. Ahorita van bastante avanzados, all right? No se detengan. Si pueden, continúen. And that's my advice for you. I hope to see you in another level soon, all right? Bye. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, teacher. Bye. Take Thank care. Bye, teacher. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Take care. Bye, teacher. Bye-bye.